Hi everyone, Diane here. Welcome to my studio. It's late afternoon and I am going to finish off the day's painting by uh, attempting a very loose and very bright hummingbird. So I've sketched the hummingbird here. The sketch is available online on my website at dianeanton.com and uh, you're welcome to go over there and pick that up free of charge and uh, otherwise it's not a difficult sketch to do. Um, I seem to have done this using a watercolour pencil which doesn't really matter because most of the lines will disappear into the colours I'm going to put on top next. So um, I'm going to use I've wet the whole bird and I'm going to now put the colours in using a, a size, what's this? This is a number nine, I think that'll do. And we're going to start off with some, some yellow. And I'm going to put yellow in, in the middle here. And I'm hoping that uh, the other colours are going to run into that. So I'm going to squeeze out some Macrodone gold into a little dish. There we are. And I'm going to drop some of that into the painting. And then I'm going to get some red. absolutely no idea if this is going to work. If it really doesn't work I won't show you so you'll never know. But at this particular moment in time I don't know. And then I'm going to go for pink. Let's put some pink here too. And then I'm going to put some water on. these colours move about a bit. Um, where is that pink again? going to let that do its own thing for a minute and then here I've got uh, some hibiscus flowers and they are also red and literally I did say it was the end of the day so you know, nothing to lose I used to live in Bermuda and the Bahamas at one time and these were like, grew like weeds, but uh, they are adorable. And uh, then we want more of a reddish, just a kind of scarlet, isn't it? But put shadows in using a, another shade of red. Okay, so now I'm going to come back with some tissue. I'm going to lift some of this. Not because it's necessarily what I, well, it's not what I, well, it's, it's, it's that's the next step. All right, so you put the paint on and then take it off. And the same goes for this as well, the flower. I'm going to just take out the centers. And let me see, um, 
Is that brush? And the beak. No, I'm not going to do the beak yet because that black might run. So I need some green and we're going to use a nice bright green. This is sap green with a little bit of macadone gold. And I'm going to just throw in some stems. And the indications of some leaves. And with a slightly bigger brush because that one is complaining at me. I've got another painting under here which I'm just protecting so let's go for a slightly bigger effort and I want to put some blue just down here. And I want to encourage the uh, colours in the hummingbird to run. So I'm just touching gently there to let that bleed out. Oh, that doesn't sound very nice, does it? I don't mean that kind of bleeding out. I'm watching too much law and order. Okay, and then I should probably let it dry before I go in and do the eye, and I want to add some more colours in here. So I'll just put a bit of yellow in here at this point. And then I want to lift a little bit of that. And I'm just going to stick it out in the sun to dry. Okay, so this is now dry and I can safely go in and drop in the beak. And also the eye. And um, then I think I'm going to use a pencil for just to indicate the um, maybe not that pencil. Or well, maybe, I don't know. Let's see. These are the stamens, obviously, of the um, viscous, which has got these anthers. We need a bit of connectome on there so that they stand out a bit better. We have various choices for doing straight lines. I mean, I could use ink, I could use an ordinary pencil, I could use the brush. You have to be a bit brave to use the brush and uh, I would have to turn it round like that.
Okay, not too bad. And then we have to do the same down here. Okay, so now again, anthers with quinacridone. drops of color in there okay whoops forgot the one down the bottom mustn't forget him we will pop a little bit more green. What did I do? Oh, there it is. There. Okay, now the main subject of this, of course, is the bird. So let's go back to the bird. And I want pink. This is um, quinacridone pink. And quinacridone gold. So there's pigeons on the roof again. And then I'm going to pop a little bit of turquoise in just because why not and a bit of um, potter's pink with a touch of that so a sort of softer this is really all play Maybe we'll emphasize the yellow there. Macrodome pink and gold are a good combination. I'm going to join this up here and hopefully it will blend nicely. And we'll just emphasize some of the shapes. I think, as we always say, dries back.
and we let that dry. So that's the final painting. I hope you enjoyed watching me do that and I hope you give it a try. If you have a like and a subscribe to Sphere, I would greatly appreciate it. And I thank you very much for being with me here this afternoon. I look forward to next time and I'll say bye bye for now. Bye everyone. Bye. Thank you.